Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. Y'all do me a favor. Remember to hit that like button. Uh, those of you, again, you know, that haven't subscribed but are watching the channel, uh, you want to subscribe so you won't miss out on the messages that God has for you. Um, but yeah. I did channel um, a lot of stuff yesterday. So whoever's going to resonate with this message, you could be seeing the angel number 911, 211, 611. So when I get a, a lot of those type of angel numbers, um, it's a lot of information. So somebody yeah, could be receiving a lot of information, you know. This could be, you know, like uh, spiritual downloads, a lot of spiritual downloads. Um, there definitely could be some type of emergency that could take place with that 911. But it's also giving me two, you know, help is on the way. Because, you know, when you call 911, basically you're calling for help. So somebody could have prayed and their prayers are about to be answered. This could be in the form of information. Because 211, you know, gives me, you know, like information, you know, like 211, 411. Um, so yeah, but 411 is like gossip, tea, but 211 gives me like information. So somebody could have been praying for some information and, and I feel like that they're about to receive, you know, the information. Um, I also, um, channeled a quote. The quote is being great shouldn't be a hobby. It should be a lifestyle. Um, so somebody yeah could be, you know, in uh, their being great energy, you know what I mean? Um, there could be, you know, somebody or some people, you know, that could be seeing somebody in that energy, you know? Um, and I feel like that, yeah, whatever it is that somebody is, you know, being great at in their life, I feel like, you know, even if it's, you know, like a passion, you know, this could be, you know, like, um, making Christmas ornaments or you know this could be you know making jewelry this could be making candles this could be you know making body butters and body oils or whatever have you I feel like yeah it could have you know what I mean um it could have been a hobby but I feel like that yeah because somebody is great at it it's it's becoming a lifestyle so you know it's it's one of those things to where you know it could look like that it comes easy you know to somebody whatever they're doing you know but it's because you know they've settled in it if that makes any sense there definitely could be yeah somebody or some people that could possibly be realizing you know what i mean that they've you know what i'm saying the reason why they're not great is because they're looking at something you know what i mean in in the wrong way you know what i mean they're looking at life you know in the wrong light i also heard Special delivery. So somebody could uh, receive a special delivery, you know. This could be, you know, like, um, you know, like a product for somebody, you know. Uh, this could be, you know, like, um, yeah. Communication, letter, you know what I mean? Email. Um, this could be, you know, like packages, you know. This could also be a person. Mm-hmm. There's also somebody, also somebody that's strategizing how to win somebody's heart over. Um, so I feel like that uh, whoever that person is, they could be gaining the courage to communicate. There's also somebody that could be, you know, gaining the courage to communicate about some type of cruel intentions. There's also somebody's assets that have been frozen and somebody's about to find out why. So, we got that out of the way, y'all. So, let's just hop in and, and see what's going on. Holy Spirit. Wow. We got rejoice and celebration. So, yeah, this could be, you know, that special delivery energy, you know. This could be, you know, yeah, somebody just being in that, you know, great, being great energy, you know. 
this special delivery, you know, could have something to do, you know, with uh, some type of celebration. So this could have something to do, you know, with, um, you know, like a, like a gift, you know, somebody could receive like a gift, but it could be like a big gift, you know. Um, but this could be literally, you know what I mean, like a person as well. But yeah, somebody definitely yeah could be about to rejoice, you know what I mean, in some type of celebration, you know. Um, I feel like that, yeah, there definitely could be some type of, um, this could be, you know, like a, like a get together, you know what I mean? This literally could be, you know, like a, you know, like a birthday party, you know. Um, we are getting into the holidays and so, yeah, this could be, you know, like, um, you know, celebrating, you know, the holidays. But somebody needs to be aware because we have this temptation. So, uh, yeah. And that temptation is pushing a button. So somebody yeah, it could definitely be trying to push somebody's button, you know. This could be, you know, at, you know, some type of celebration. This could be, you know, like, you know, this could be like at a family gathering, you know. And somebody could be trying to push somebody's, um, push somebody's buttons. Mm-hmm. With this rejoicing celebration and temptation, it's giving me two, you know. Like somebody, you know, tempting somebody, you know, to go somewhere, you know, to do something that they don't normally do, you know. So I feel like, the, yeah, somebody just needs to be aware. This could be a whole group of people, though, you know. So this could be, you know, the people, you know, that somebody calls uh, their friends or, you know, this could be family members. Uh, yeah, for somebody, yeah, this could be, you know, like uh, people that have already deemed themselves as enemies. But, you know, maybe, yeah, going back to um, the cruel intentions. But somebody needs to know that they hold the power. For sure. So whatever this is, I feel like that, um, yeah, somebody has the power to control, you know what I'm saying, the narrative. Somebody has the power, you know what I mean, to say no. You know what I mean? Somebody has the power, yeah, to, to walk away. So, yeah, somebody just needs to be aware. Somebody uh, could be um, a Pisces or Aries or a Pisces Aries Cusper. Mm-hmm. Some yeah. The fifteenth. So yeah, somebody could be born on the fifteenth of the month. Uh somebody yeah could be a cusper, you know. Mm-hmm. March the fifteenth could be significant for somebody, or March of twenty fifteen could be significant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody could find out, you know, that somebody did something in the past, you know what I mean? And it could go back to, yeah, the cruel intentions. So somebody could have done something, you know, in 2015, you know, and they're walking around, you know, with guilt. We got the temple path. Somebody could be born on the 12th of the month. March 15th of 2012 could be significant or March the 12th of 2015 could be significant. Mm-hmm. Wow, this temple path is giving me, you know, like sacred grounds energy, you know. This could also be, you know, like a, it's giving me too, like synagogue. So somebody could be Jewish, you know. But this is like, yeah, like sacred space. So I feel like that, yeah, um, there definitely, yeah, could be, you know, like somebody or some people, you know what I mean, trying to infiltrate somebody's sacred space, whatever that sacred space is for somebody. This could be, you know, like somebody's home. You know, this could be, you know, like somebody's energy. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it definitely has something to do, you know what I mean, with, uh, with, with, uh, the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the sacred space and this uh, triumphant success card, which gives me the Ace of Swords, it's giving me, yeah, like, uh, you know, prayer, going into prayer, you know what I mean? And, yeah, finding out truth. Somebody, yeah, definitely could be waiting for the truth with this waiting game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, going back to that prayer energy. So, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, could have prayed. And so whatever they prayed for, you know what I'm saying, uh, I feel like that, yeah, their prayers were heard, you know. So if this could if this could be that somebody, you know, prayed for answers, they're about to receive, yeah, the answers. They're about to receive some truth, you know. Somebody's also, yeah, about to receive some type of recognition and reward. Mm-hmm. This is also, too, giving me, too, like, yeah, there could be people that somebody could have prayed for, you know what I'm saying? 
And uh, yeah, there could be somebody or some people that, you know, have came out of whatever, you know, they were going through. And there could be people that want to recognize and reward, you know, somebody, you know, um, for helping them, you know, to get through, you know, the hard times or get through, you know, whatever it is, you know, that they uh, that they were going through. Yeah, the number 33 is out here. So yeah, Ascended Master. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because this, uh, the Rejoicing Celebration card is a number three, and this, uh, Recognition and Reward is a number three. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, somebody, somebody needs to know that they have the power, you know what I'm saying? The power to, you know, create positive change, the power to, you know, say no, you know, the power of choice. I feel like, the, yeah, there could be somebody or some people that could be learning, you know, about the power. This could be, you know, the power of God as well, you know? So, yeah, like, if... If, if, you know what I'm saying, uh, if we were blessed, you know, with, with, uh, you know, having the Holy Spirit within us, that means that, yeah, we have God in us. So, yeah, it's the God in somebody, you know what I mean? It's the God in you, it's the God in me, it's the God in them, you know what I mean? Those that choose to tap in, you know? But it's not just about tapping in, it's about, yeah, doing everything that you're supposed to do, you know what I mean? In order to be able to tap in, you know what I'm saying, um... In order, yeah, for you to be able to, yeah, use that power, you know what I mean, um, you know, to the fullest extent is what I feel like. So, yeah. So, something that definitely is about to be revealed with the sun at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, could be getting baptized because if y'all see, the girl is in the, the water. Looks like uh, she's about to be baptized. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, this is giving me like, um, yeah, pe somebody or some people don't have any other choice, but yeah, to put some respect on somebody's name is what it's giving me. Mm-hmm. But this is this is giving me two, you know, like um you know when when like um you know like when the king or the queen, you know, come in, you know, like everybody bows, you know what I mean? It's 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 yeah, it's giving it's it's showing respect. So something about respect, I feel like the yeah. You know, somebody has shown the utmost respect, you know, uh, to, to their spiritual team, you know, to their spirit guys, their angels, their ancestors, but most importantly, you know, to the most high. Somebody, yeah, has definitely remained balanced when it comes to their mind, body, and spirit. You know what I mean? Somebody is definitely in alignment for sure. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, throughout all the temptation, throughout everything, somebody has stayed in alignment. But I feel like it's because, you know what I'm saying, of prayers. So, yeah, somebody needs to know that, that prayers work or that's what, yeah, people are about to find out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got trust. So yeah, somebody somebody trusted and it, and they accepted that their inner voice would all will always guide them correctly. So yeah, that's that intuition. Mm hmm But it's also, yeah, somebody, you know, putting all their trust in the most high, you know? And so I feel like the yeah. Um somebody possibly, yeah, is being used and as an example, you know, because somebody has put all their trust in the most high, you know. Somebody, yeah, has prayed, you know what I'm saying, and left it there, you know. Somebody prayed and, and, and know and, and know that they can't worry as well. So it's kind of like, yeah, you can you can pray and worry or pray or worry, but you can't do both. So I feel like, the, yeah, somebody has prayed, you know what I'm saying, out, uh, you know what I'm saying, out of situations or they've prayed, you know, out of circumstances. This could be, you know, somebody that, you know, prayed, you know what I mean, like, I'm going to use this as an example, you know, like somebody, um, you know, told that they have, you know, something going on, you know, and uh, and they have to get surgery, you know. And so the day of the surgery, you know, they're on the, 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 the you know, the hospital bed and everything. And, uh, you know, and they're like, well, before we, you know, but somebody has prayed, prayed, prayed all the way up until, you know, the day that they, you know, go into the hospital, even while they're, you know, in the hospital waiting, you know, even while they're, you know, what I'm saying on, you know, the, the hospital bed waiting to go in surgery, you know, they, they're praying and praying and praying. And so, you know, the nurse comes in and says, well, we're going to take you back and we're going to do an x-ray first just to make, just to see, you know, if, if, if it's still there, you know, if, if the tumor is still there or if it has it went down or whatever. And I'm just using this as an example. Um, and so, 
Um, you know, uh, somebody gets wheeled, you know, to the X-ray X -ray room, you know, and they had a, you know, two-inch tumor, you know, that needed to be removed, you know, and then, yeah, they do an X-ray and they don't see the tumor anymore because the tumor has went, has, has went down so much that you can't even see it anymore, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, that would be, you know, a miracle. That would be, yeah, the power of prayer. So there could be somebody or some people that, yeah, could possibly, you know, um, possibly could be, you know, learning, you know, about the power of prayer. But this could be, you know, like learning through somebody else. Um, but yeah, the Bible says where two or three are gathered, I am in the midst. Mm -hmm. And this is, yeah, sacred, sacred place. But I feel like the, yeah, it's something about, yeah, this temptation. Somebody, yeah, somebody's trying to, you know, figure out, you know, um, I don't know. I feel like somebody's trying to infiltrate somebody's prayers, which, which they ain't going to get nowhere with that. You know what I mean? But this is also too, yeah, like, um, cause I was picking up Jewish, but you know, the Bible, the Bible talks about, you know, spiritual gifts. And one of the spiritual gifts that the Bible talks about is the gift of speaking in tongues, you know? And so, yeah, but that it says that, you know, that is a language, you know, that the evil, you know what I'm saying, uh, can't understand. So somebody, yeah, could have the gift of speaking in tongues or somebody is about to receive the gift of speaking in tongues. You know, this is also too, yeah, like somebody, you know, going into deep worship, you know what I mean? And, and you know, for those of you, you know, that know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what happens when you go deep into worship? And so I feel like that, yeah, that could be what somebody needs to do, you know? And that's not for everybody. So those of you, you know, that do have, you know, the gift of tongues or whatever, I feel like the chill, yeah, you've already get, been given instructions, you know, on how to use, you know, the gift of tongues because you also need, you know what I'm saying, an interpreter. So, you know what I'm saying, in order to ter interpret, you know, um, that prayer in tongues, you know. But at the same time, it's kind of like um, if it's just you and the most high, you know. Uh, yeah, it's 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 being interpreted, you know what I'm saying, in the spirit, you know. But I definitely do feel like that, you know, um, when it comes to, you know, like a group of people, you know, there definitely could be, yeah, like somebody or some people, you know what I'm saying, that, that don't understand, you know what I mean? That these could be people, you know, that, that are scared, you know. So these are people that, you know, possibly were raised, you know, to, to on on the basics, you know what I'm saying? They weren't raised, you know what I'm saying, uh to know, you know what I'm saying, really, you know what I'm saying, like about, you know, even religion, you know what I mean? Because I mean religion, you read your Bible, you know, either way it goes, religion, spirituality, yeah, you got a Bible to read, you know what I mean? But it's kinda like, yeah, people are surface or people only take what they want, you know what I'm saying? They only take, you know, uh what the preacher told them, you know what I mean? They only take what, you know, their grandmama and granddaddy told them instead of them, you know what I'm saying, doing their own research and getting their own understanding, you know? Because we as we as uh, people are supposed to have our own understanding, you know? That's how we get our own relationship with the Most High. So I feel like the, yeah, something about the, the gift of tongues is very significant in this message. Mm -hmm. We got a little razzle-dazzle at the top of the deck, so yeah, something about a, a manipulated uh, conversation or manipulated information. So that could be, you know, why this, uh, why this little demon or whatever this is here, you know what I'm saying, could be trying to push somebody's button. And it could be, you know, with some type of manipulated conversation or, you know, manipulated information. Mm-hmm. But somebody's ancestor definitely got they back. For sure. Mm-hmm. Wow. If 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 I feel like the yeah, if somebody, you know what I'm saying, and this isn't this isn't for everybody as far as, you know, the gift of speaking in tongues. If somebody, you know, has, you know, uh spoken tongues in front of somebody. Or some people, you know what I mean, that didn't understand, you know, that don't know nothing about it, you know. I feel like that, yeah, they could have, you know, went and talked about somebody, you know. So they could have went and said, yeah, somebody's crazy or somebody, yeah, somebody got, you know, somebody got it. They got an entity attachment to them. They're a demon. They're a witch, you know. They could have said anything, but somebody's a child of God. And so, yeah, that offended, you know, those in the spirit realm. Mm-hmm. But mind you, yeah, 
it's kind of like, yeah, the most high, you know what I'm saying? It's like, well done, my good and faithful child. You know what I'm saying? Well done, you know? So it's something about, yeah, somebody, you know, being great. And, and, and they've been making it a lifestyle. But I feel like it's, it, it's, it's giving me, like, spiritually great. Because if you're spiritually great, then you're great in every other aspect of your life, you know? If you have, you know, a great relationship with the Most High and your spiritual team, then yeah, you're going to be great, you know what I'm saying, in every aspect of your life. Because yeah, you trust that the Most High and your spiritual team has the has your best interests at heart, you know. But this is giving me, you know, like, because you know, God and Jesus, they're two different. Um, so this is giving me like Jesus as well, you know what I'm saying. So like, yeah, um, somebody definitely, yeah, could like be a, a firm believer in Jesus as well. But I've. I, but my opinion is, you know, you can't believe in, you know what I'm saying, God, if you don't believe in Jesus, you you, you, you can't believe in Jesus if you don't believe in God. Um, but that's just, you know, my opinion. Rejoice in temptation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody needs to get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, special delivery. But yeah, somebody definitely needs to get ready because yeah, I feel like the yeah, temptation is about to try to push somebody's button. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This button is giving me two, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how, you know, when, when Trump and Kim Jong un was fighting, you know, saying who got the button, I got a button, you got a button. Yeah, it's giving me like, you know what I'm saying, whatever this button is, it's a it's supposed to cause, you know, some type of big blow up. So this could be, yeah, like somebody, you know, trying to use some information, you know what I'm saying, that could cause somebody to, you know, get really angry, you know what I mean, to make somebody, yeah, want to fight, you know. Y'all see how she putting on her blazer, like, yeah, they got me messed up. I don't know what they think this is. Mm -hmm. So this, yeah, this definitely could be, you know, like at a, um, like at an event or like at some type of celebration. So I feel like that, yeah, somebody just needs to be aware. Mm-hmm. But this is also, too, with this rejoicing celebration, you know, and this get ready, get ready, get ready card. We have been talking about, yes, yeah, uh, promotion, spiritual promotion, physical promotion. So, um, yeah, this could be, you know, somebody, yeah, rejoicing in celebration because, yeah, they're, 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 they're receiving their promotion, you know. So, yeah, somebody could be getting ready to go to their, you know, physical promotion ceremony or their spiritual promotion ceremony or both. Mm-hmm. This is also, too, handling business. So, yeah. Uh, I feel like the yeah, somebody has the power to say no. So yeah, there definitely could be somebody or some people that could be trying to tempt somebody, you know, um, to you know engage, you know, in in toxic, you know, karmic things. When somebody yeah has business to handle, you know what I mean. Somebody yeah is too busy being great. It's not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these could be these could be people, you know what I'm saying? They could be like, oh, you're so boring, you're boring, you know. These could be, you know, like somebody, yeah, could have stopped drinking, you know what I mean? They could have stopped smoking, because this is yeah, uh cloud nine, you know what I'm saying? Look at all that all that smoke, all that puff smoke, yeah. Um so yeah, somebody could have quit drinking, they could have quit smoking, you know what I mean? And so yeah, this would be, you know, like people, you know what I'm saying, inviting somebody somewhere where there's nothing but alcoholic drinks, there's nothing but, you know, smoke in the air, you know what I mean? And so yeah, but somebody wasn't uh, fully aware, you know, and so yeah, that possibly, yeah, would push somebody's buttons. I feel like the, yeah, there is some temptation or it, it just could be the energy of temptation, so it could be a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? That could literally either be trying to tempt somebody or, you know what I'm saying, trying to, you know, uh, irritate somebody. You know what I'm saying? Get under somebody's skin, you know. And, and so I feel like, the, yeah, somebody just needs to, to, to be aware, you know what I mean, of, you know, that, yeah, there could be some distractions. So somebody could be sending distractions somebody's way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we have learning lesson card. So, yeah, somebody's about to learn some type of lesson, but there's also, too, yeah, somebody trying to, um, somebody's about to, re yeah, get the inside scoop. So, this could be, yeah, somebody, you know, going back to somebody's assets being frozen and somebody's about to find out why, you know, this could be the inside scoop as far as, you know, um, as far as, uh, you know, somebody gaining the courage to communicate, whether it be, you know, uh, trying to win somebody's heart or, tr or communicating about some type of cruel intentions. Mm-hmm. And then we have the cop blocking card. Mm-hmm. So there is a cop blocker out here. 
Yep, time's up. Time's up. And then we have, yeah, the uh, spin of the block card, but it came out in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Wow. So somebody, yeah, somebody's head is in the clouds. But it's too something about, yeah. Uh, somebody, yeah, could be about to learn some type of lesson when it comes to, like, um, smoking. You know what I'm saying? Like, physical smoking. But this is also, too, kind of like, yeah, um, somebody's um, ancestors, they like smoke, you know? So, you know, somebody could benefit with, you know, using, like, incense or, you know what I mean, um, you know, stuff that smokes, you know? If somebody doesn't smoke, you know what I mean, you know, so that, yeah, the smoke, so that, you know what I'm saying, the ancestors could be around the smoke. Yeah, somebody could use an incense, anything that, you know, provides smoke, you know, Palo Santo, sage, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. But this is also too, yeah, get ready, get ready, get ready, because yeah, the, the smoke, yeah, it's kind of like um, the smoke is clearing, or you know what I'm saying, something is about to be made clear, or you know, mm-hmm, yeah, I'm also picking up two, because I just heard, yeah, count to ten. So I feel like the yeah somebody just needs to you know when 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 stuff starts to irritate somebody or yeah when when somebody feels like that they're about to get out of character somebody just needs to count to ten you know Wusa somebody yeah definitely could benefit um definitely uh could benefit um you know with like meditating or doing yoga as well that would help you know um when it comes to you know like somebody staying in balance mm hmm. March the 3rd, I mean, excuse me, well, yeah, March the 3rd could be very significant, but I, w I wanted to say December the 3rd, so December the 3rd could be significant, 2012 could also be significant as well, but we have the clear view card, so I feel like the, yeah, somebody definitely needs to get ready, get ready, get ready, because I feel like the, yeah, somebody's about to see temptation, you know what I'm saying, like, clearly, or there's somebody that, yeah, possibly is now realizing, you know what I'm saying, that they were tempted, you know. Um, that could be, yeah, somebody that could be gaining the courage, you know, to communicate. And it could be about some cruel intentions. Um, but, yeah, somebody's about to see clearly. Yeah, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Mm-hmm. 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 This is also, too, yeah, somebody... Um, somebody uh yeah being tempted in the daytime so i feel like the yeah with this uh with this daytime card being here it's kind of like yeah somebody's not hiding you know what i'm saying you know or this could be you know like energy vampire you know vampires they're supposed to come out you know at night you know when the sun is not out so something about yeah um somebody or or some people you know what i'm saying basically yeah uh being out in the open or yeah somebody seeing somebody or some people clearly for who they really are you know, this could also be too, like, yeah, somebody showing their true color. Mm -hmm. This is also too, like, trying to catch somebody outside, you know what I'm saying? So trying to catch somebody, you know, um, in the daytime, you know. So that could be, you know, for somebody as well. Um, somebody trying to catch somebody, you know, this could be, you know, catch somebody slipping, you know, this could be, you know, like to catch somebody, you know, cause they, maybe they only see somebody in the daytime or maybe they've only seen somebody in the daytime. And so it's kind of like, yeah, the only way I can catch them is in the daytime. It, it go back to, yeah, somebody, you know, possibly trying to win somebody's heart over possibly, yeah, trying to invite somebody out, you know, like going on a date or whatever. But I definitely do feel like that um, for somebody, you know, this could be, you know, like a distraction that's being sent in. Because I'm picking up like dis distractions being sent in. Why is a temple path here? Mm hmm. This could also, this is also too, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, somebody, you know what I mean? 
praying multiple times a day. Somebody could be going, you know what I'm saying, to like the temple or the synagogue, you know, uh, to pray. This could be, you know, going to the church, you know, to pray. This could be, you know, like, yeah, somebody, you know what I'm saying, um, entering into, you know, um, their sacred space or entering in. I'm sorry, y'all. The dog is um, playing behind the scenes. But, yeah, this could be, yeah, somebody entering into, you know, their sacred space multiple times a day, you know. Somebody's sacred space could just be, you know, in their head, you know, because somebody doesn't have time to stop and go to the bathroom or stop and go, you know what I'm saying, to wherever their sacred space is, you know. Um, but, yeah, I feel like that, you know, somebody or some people are, yeah, going to learn about the power of prayer or they're learning about the power of prayer. This could also be, too, yeah, like um, somebody, you know, um, surprising themselves, you know, when it comes to, you know, their prayers, you know. So it goes back to, you know, what I what I use as an example as far as, um, you know, somebody, you know, having a tumor, you know, that that whole scenario, you know. Mm hmm. We got loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. The power of prayer, the power of choice, the power, you know, what I'm saying of no, the power of yes, you know. This could be too, like, yeah, the power of words, you know, the power of God in general. Mm hmm. But somebody, yeah, somebody's about to see clearly about, yeah, how loyal somebody is. So this could be, you know, like, yeah, loyal to being, you know, great. In order for you to be great, you have to trust in, you know what I'm saying, something, you know. You have to trust in the plan. You have to trust, you know, if there is people around you, you have to trust in those around you in order for you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying, because it's an understanding that you and them have that, yeah, they're there to help you be great. Or y'all are there to help each other be great, you know what I mean. And so, yeah, I feel like that um, there is somebody, you know. That instead of them, you know, going out partying, instead of them, you know what I'm saying, living the nightlife, instead of them, you know what I'm saying, engaging in toxic karmic, you know what I'm saying, things, yeah, they'd rather, you know what I'm saying, continue to handle business. they rather, you know what I'm saying, uh, see life, you know what I'm saying, uh, on the lighter side, you know what I'm saying, they they rather, you know what I'm saying, yeah, this is, I feel like, yeah, somebody, um, they don't live inside the box, you know what I'm saying, they don't live inside, you know the norm of society, you know, because 90% of society, they're out partying, they're out doing toxic karmic things, you know, but somebody, yeah, they're handling business, they're standing on business, they're being loyal, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, you know, their relationship, you know, with, with their spiritual team, with the most high, you know, they're being loyal when it comes to, you know, um, the path that they're on, you know what I mean, on their spiritual journey, on their life journey, or whatever journey that they're on, you know, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, that's literally, yeah, why, you know what I mean, um, some respect is coming somebody's way or somebody's about to receive some recognition and reward. Um, there definitely, yeah, could be a dog that could go through a window. I don't know if this window, you know, is open or if it's closed. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they said the window is open. So, somebody definitely, yeah, needs to... Um, Close their window, cause there, cause there could be a dog that yeah could get out. Mhm. Mm but there is, you know, uh, some type of open window of opportunity. And so I feel like that uh, whatever this window of opportunity is, it's open to somebody. I feel like that yeah, somebody's about to um, receive some information about it. So this could be, you know, like um, you know, going back to yeah, somebody you know receiving a promotion, but. You know, somebody just thinks that it's an ordinary promotion until, you know, they're told that, you know, this pro promotion comes with, you know, you, you know, working from home, you know, and, and you, you know, getting an extra, you know, thousand dollars a month, you know, and yada, yada, and blase, blase, you know, and somebody's always wanted to work, you know, from home. Somebody's, you know, and yeah, somebody definitely could use that extra thousand dollars a month, you know, it's something about, yeah. Um, somebody about to be receive some type of recognition of award, you know what I'm saying? But in a in a different way, you know, um, than what, yeah, somebody or some people possibly thought or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this could be, you know, like, um, like somebody's wildest dreams, you know? So, yeah, like somebody could have always wanted to be a party promoter or something like that. Yeah, somebody's about to become a party promoter, you know? Somebody, you know, could have always wanted to be, you know, like a, um, you know, like a personal assistant, you know, to, you know, like a celebrity or, you know what I mean? Uh, or, you know what I'm saying, to 
basically a personal assistant to be able to, you know, like travel, you know, that's getting ready to come, you know, to fruition for somebody. I feel like, yeah, there's a manifestation, you know, but it, but it comes with, you know, recognition and reward as well. And I'm just using all that stuff as an example. Yeah, we got the head of household car, but it came out in the reverse. This is giving me, yeah, like trusting in the process, you know what I'm saying? Trusting in God's plan or continuing to. It's, this is giving me like, yeah, releasing the reins, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, for somebody, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, could be the head of their household, you know, somebody could be single, you know, and yeah, the head of the household in the reverse is giving me, you know, like, um, Somebody, yeah, is not about to be single anymore, you know? So somebody, yeah. So, like, if, if you're a feminine energy, because there is a feminine energy on this card, but you don't have to be, you know? But for feminine energies, you know, you could have, yeah, had to be, you know, the, the, the man and the woman, you know what I'm saying, in your home, you know? Well, yeah, there's a balance that's about to, you know, uh, be uh, brought, you know what I mean? And so, yeah. You're going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, operate in your feminine energy. So, yeah, you could be in a feminine energy that could, you know, operate, you know, in your masculine energy. But it's because you possibly have to, you know. And so, yeah, you could be receiving some recognition and reward for that, you know. Um, maybe you didn't have a choice, you know. For whatever reason, you know, you had to operate in your masculine energy. I feel like that you've been doing it and you've been doing it well. Yeah, you've been, you've been, been, you know, great while doing it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I feel like the, yeah, this window of opportunity definitely could have something to do, too, with, yeah, like somebody kicking off their shoes and relax their, relaxing their feet. <laughs> I know I just messed that song up, but, um, yeah, this is giving me, you know, like rex, rest and re relaxation, R&R. So, for somebody, yeah, somebody could be, you know, going on, you know, a trip, but this could just be, you know, for rest and relaxation. Somebody could be going on a cruise, you know, mm-hmm. But I don't like this temptation, so somebody definitely needs to be aware. This is also, too, yeah, um, the head of household, y'all know it gives me, you know, like um, taxes. You know, it gives me anything where you have to, you know, explain, you know, if you're, you know, he single, head of household, you know, married, uh, whatever have you. And so, yeah, something about some documents. Mm-hmm. With the head of household in reverse, it's really giving me, too, like tax evasion. So, yeah. So maybe that's why, yeah, somebody's assets are, are frozen, you know, and somebody could find out because, yeah, they were evading taxes. This is also, too, um, somebody, yeah, taking some type of opportunity to free themselves, you know. So this could be, you know, like spiritually free themselves, you know, physically free themselves. Uh, this could be, you know, like um, mentally, emotionally, you know. There's also somebody that, yeah, they're trying to win somebody's heart. They're trying to win somebody's trust. Somebody's first mother, last name could start with a G or an N. Somebody's Chinese zodiac sign could be a rabbit. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yeah, could be a rabbi. Or something about, yeah, something about religion. Somebody, yeah, could be, could believe, you know, in, in multiple, you know what I'm saying? Or could practice multiple, you know what I'm saying, um, religions, you know what I mean? Or somebody, yeah, could have just been raised off of multiple religions. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, somebody's first mother or last name could start with an R or a Z. But this is um, the contract card, the documents and paperwork card. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for somebody yeah could be starting like a new business, you know what I mean? Or somebody yeah could just be starting something new, you know? So it goes back to yeah, you know, somebody, you know, being great at what they do, you know? And it could be, you know, it could have been a hobby, but now it, it's turning into some type of lifestyle. So yeah. Mm -hmm. But but this also could be, yeah, what that special delivery is. So so somebody, um, yeah, could be receiving like, you know, some documents or some paperwork. Yeah, this is kind of, this is like a contract. So somebody, yeah, could 
receive a business contract, you know. But I feel like somebody, somebody definitely needs to be aware, you know. All contracts ain't good contracts, you know. Especially with this uh, temptation. Mm-hmm. Wow. There definitely could be, you know, like a church or some type of building um, that could be losing some type of contract. So this could be, you know, like if if, if the building was being rented, uh, they're no longer going to be able to rent it, you know, or something like that. But yeah, there could be, you know, like um, like a church, you know, that that somebody is being that is being told, you know, that they have to, yeah, like exit, you know, the premises, you know. Mm hmm. Somebody, yeah, de definitely could have hopped into some type of contract or, you know what I'm saying, they they hopped into something, you know. Or, yeah, somebody thinks that, yeah, they can manipulate somebody to hop in, you know, to something. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody needing to get ready, get ready, get ready. Because I feel like that um, somebody definitely, yeah, could have to stand up, you know, for themselves. Or, you know what I'm saying, somebody, yeah, could just have to say no. Or, yeah, maybe somebody has already said no, you know what I mean? And that was a part of their, you know, protection, you know, rejection is somebody's protection. And so, yeah. Somebody, yeah, could be trying to, you know what I'm saying, figure out, you know, a, another way or figure out a new, a new way, you know what I mean, to get somebody to say yes. I just heard say yes to the dress. Mm-mm. Yeah, something about a TV show, you know, somebody could, you know, about to receive some type of contract to be on TV or something like that. How do you milk a zebra? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, <laughs> it's something about that. Yeah, so it's kind of like, yeah, it's going to be hard as hell, you know what I'm saying, to milk a zebra, you know. You normally milk cows and goats and things of that nature, but yeah, how do you milk a zebra? And so, yeah, I feel like the, yeah... It's going to be too hard or something about, you know, somebody yeah, not being able to, you know what I'm saying, do something. But something is sticking. Somebody's first mother, last name could start with a T. But with this temptation and this tape, it's giving me like sex tape. Mm -mm. So somebody can find out something about that. But this is also, too, yeah, something that somebody or some people did, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely could be sticking to them. You know what I mean? This is also, too, yeah, like somebody sticking to their story. You know, that's their story and they're sticking to it. With this temptation and this tape, too, it's also giving me, too, like, um, especially with this rejoice and celebration, it's something about, yeah, like a party, you know what I'm saying? Um, or some type of like, yeah, where a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, gather. So I feel like the, yeah, with this ice at, at the top of the deck, yeah, we could find out about like a celebrity or two or three that we, you know what I'm saying, haven't really heard anything about, you know what I'm saying? We could start hearing stuff about those, you know what I'm saying, celebrities. And so, yeah, I feel like that, that would be shocking to a lot of people. You know, because, yeah, whoever these celebrities are, it could be, you know, people that, you know, people wouldn't think would be involved in some stuff that, yeah, are involved in some stuff. And, yeah, whatever it is that they're involved in, yeah, it's it's going to stick to them. So, yeah, something about reputation. So, when it comes to, yeah, whoever, you know, this message is for, is something about, yeah, somebody's reputation, you know what I mean? Whatever somebody has done, yeah, it's, it's sticking to them, you know what I mean? But this is also, too, yeah, like if somebody was trying to ruin somebody's reputation, yeah, it's their story and they're sticking to it. Mm-hmm. Yep. But divine intervention is at play. Mm-hmm. Somebody's first mother or last name can start with an S. I just heard a celebrity name. I'm not going to say it. Y'all probably know based off of the letters that I just uh, said. But something about um, transgender. Mm-hmm. 
for somebody yeah or we could find out some information about a transgender this could be a transgender celebrity or yeah whoever you know is is, is resonating with this message you could find out about a transgender you know what i mean in, in some way shape form or fashion this could be a transgender and somebody else i don't know this is also too yeah somebody no longer being loyal to somebody or some people as well mm-hmm Divine intervention is definitely at play. But this is also too, yeah, like um, somebody being treated a certain type of way with this stop and this re recognition and reward with that like bow down energy. Yeah, some somebody is no longer, you know what I'm saying, about to be treated, you know, in a certain type of way, you know. So yeah, somebody's true colors are being shown. So if there is somebody or some people that were looking up to somebody, yeah, they're no longer going to look up to somebody. They're going to be looking down on somebody like... <gasps> We can't believe they did that. You know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. We got the caution. So, somebody else is, 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 is being asked, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to take caution, you know? Yeah, because there's holes in somebody's story. Somebody's first mother, last name could start with a V. There's holes in somebody's story. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, yeah, whatever story is that somebody's sticking to, yeah, it's a hole in it. Mm hmm. But, yeah, there goes that razzle dazzle with those sprinkles on top. Mm hmm. Something about a traffic guard or, like, you know, a traffic officer as well. Something about, yeah, traffic. Something about um, traveling. So, I feel like that, yeah, somebody needs to be, oh, be careful, be cautious, be aware while they're traveling. Um, this is also too, yeah, like somebody seeing somebody, you know what I'm saying? This could be, yeah, like seeing somebody in the daytime in traffic. Somebody could be a construction worker. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, somebody could see somebody like at a store, you know what I'm saying, getting donuts. Somebody could see somebody at Dunkin' Donuts. It's something about a main road. So something about, yeah, somebody seeing somebody, you know what I'm saying, all the time. So, yeah, I feel like that somebody needs to be cautious or somebody, yeah, needs to... um you know, like change up their routine or something like that. But this is also too, yeah, somebody seeing somebody going back to somebody, you know, trying to um, win somebody's heart or trying to, yeah, uh, get somebody to trust them. But I don't like this temptation. Somebody's first mother last name can start with a L. All right. Yeah, the door to uh, the uh, the door to finances uh, with the freedom card. So yeah, financial freedom. So somebody's about to enter into the door of financial freedom, or somebody has already entered into the door to financial freedom. Or that's what somebody's trying to do, you know what I'm saying, become financially free, you know. So if that's the case, and yeah, there could be somebody that could be trying to, yeah, like leech off of somebody or, you know what I'm saying, get somebody to do some stuff, you know what I'm saying, so that they would be financially free or something like that. Mm-hmm. Just give me one. Somebody's first mother or last name could start with a J. Yeah, somebody's in a jam. Somebody stuck. Wow. I'm also picking up too that there's somebody that, yeah, could be in a jam, you know, and now they're trying to trust the process, but it's after, you know what I'm saying, they've gotten into a jam, which technically, you know, that is really when, yeah, the most high wants you to, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, because it's kind of like, yeah. The Most High is able to, you know what I'm saying, get you out of this jam to let you know that, yeah, that God is real. You know what I'm saying? Or God, you know, can do all things, you know? So that could be, you know, um, yeah, the first step to somebody, you know, spiritually awakening or the first step, you know, to somebody, you know, realizing, you know, that, yeah, at that moment they messed up, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. This head of household card in the reverse is giving me too, like, yeah, like tax free. So I don't know. But I don't like the temptation. So I feel like the, yeah, 
It's it's giving me like distractions, you know, and fake offers and things of that nature. Because yeah, uh, there's about to be some type of real offer, or you know, what I'm saying something is already yeah set. It's already in black and white, you know. So I feel like that yeah, somebody just needs to be cautious. But somebody yeah definitely could be in a jam, and it definitely yeah could have something to do. Um, you know, with, with taxes, you know, it definitely has something to do, yeah, with those frozen assets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's something about, yeah, somebody not being protected or somebody not having any protection, you know. This could be spiritual protection. This could be physical protection, you know. This could be, you know, family and friends are no longer protecting somebody, you know. Mm -hmm. This could be, yeah, like somebody don't have no no money, you know, maybe somebody's, you know, bank account is frozen, you know, they don't have any money, you know what I mean, to be to be able to hire protection or, you know, to be able to pay, you know what I mean? Somebody's first murder, last name could start with a K. Mm -hmm. But this is, yeah, the fight card. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove it, I'm right. So, I know I just messed up that word, but it's okay. But yeah, so somebody yeah could be taking their life back, or this is like yeah, somebody that yeah has taken their life back. You know what I mean? It has hasn't looked looked back. There definitely yeah could be somebody. You know what I mean? That could be yeah, feeling left behind, but also yeah could be looking. You know, like yeah, they need some help from the same person. You know what I mean? The yeah is is operating in their greatness. You know what I mean? Somebody, yeah, they're being great. And it's not a hobby, it's a lifestyle. So, yeah, somebody has chosen a different lifestyle. There definitely, yeah, could be somebody that, yeah, st stayed stuck, you know, in some type of lifestyle. Now they're looking at somebody that changed their lifestyle. Like, yeah, maybe I should, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I should follow their lead. Or maybe, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Wow. There definitely, yeah, could be somebody that wants to fight somebody. This could be... Because they could be trying to blame, you know, the person that they want to fight because of why they why they're in a jam. But the fact of the matter is, I feel like the yeah, somebody had a, a choice. You know what I mean? Somebody, you know, it wasn't like that they didn't have a, a choice to stop. They had a choice to stop, or they had a choice, you know, to not to do whatever it is that they did. But they didn't. You know what I'm saying? This is also too giving me yeah, like um, with this bow down energy, it's giving me like like. I got to do what they tell me to do. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if somebody was being blackmailed, you know what I'm saying, to, to do whatever it is that they were told to do. You know what I mean? Or say whatever it is that they were told to say. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if it's kind of like, yeah, it's giving me like blackmail energy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, there are new opportunities, yeah, that, 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 um, one is already, you know, open for somebody, but yeah, I feel like that there are multiple opportunities that could be coming somebody's way, and so, yeah, somebody needs to be patient. Somebody needs to basically continue to make the best out of the situation that they're in. Do not give up during hard times, or yeah, that's why these new opportunities are, are coming to somebody as we speak, because yeah, somebody definitely, you know, would remain patient, you know what I mean? Um, somebody, yeah, made the best out of whatever situation that they were in and they didn't give up, you know, during the hard times. And so, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, needs to be aware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into their life. Mm-hmm. So, there goes that temptation energy. Mm-mm. Somebody, yeah, that could be close to somebody or that somebody thought was close to them. Yeah, definitely, you know, could be sending, you know, negativity their way. Mm-hmm. But it goes back to, yeah, that loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Mm-hmm. But we got tarot cards at the bottom of the deck, you know. Somebody, you know, could, you know, be a tarot card reader. Somebody could be, you know, uh, receiving messages, you know, um, through tarot cards or, you know what I mean, 
uh, but it don't have to necessarily be, you know, tarot cards. This it just says connect with spirit guides, inspired action, overcoming fear, positive influences, happy spirituality, finding your purpose, enlightened. So yeah, somebody yeah definitely you know was being great. You know what I mean? Whatever you know somebody has deemed or people deemed as a hobby, somebody yeah has turned it into you know a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And somebody else is, is 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 happy in it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's being a positive influence while doing so, you know? Yeah. So somebody yeah has turned, you know, a hobby into uh yeah. Somebody finding their purpose or one of their purposes, you know? And one of somebody's purposes is yeah, to to enlighten other people, you know what I mean? Or to be, you know what I'm saying, um, to service to other people. Somebody definitely, yeah, needs to um, re uh, get ready to receive, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it could be, you know, like um, a new contract, you know? This could be, you know, like documents as far or paperwork as far as, you know, somebody, you know, signing, you know, you know, something, you know, as far as um, when it comes to like financial freedom or this could be, you know, like signing, you know, a contract when it comes to a new job or a career or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because somebody, yeah remain patient so it's something about yeah patient so somebody yeah was patient throughout all the hard times somebody was patient you know what i'm saying throughout you know everything i feel like the yeah there are some strong bonds and connections that somebody's about to come across you know what i mean so yeah this is giving me like yeah soul connections soul contracts with this uh contract card mm -hmm. yeah somebody's about to connect with others in a very significant way this definitely yeah could uh could spark some type of physical renewal for somebody. This could also spark, you know, like uh, forgiveness in somebody. This also could, yeah, bring upon, you know, new ideas to somebody. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, this is giving me, because um, we did pick up on the big energy shift yesterday. So, this could have something to do with the big energy shift that uh, is, is, is about to take place for somebody. Um But there definitely, yeah, could be, you know, Somebody or some people, you know what I mean, uh, that are going to try to push your buttons, you know, while this big energy shift could be taking place. Or it, it could be, you know, that, yeah, um, there's somebody that, yeah, is trying to stay, you know, attached to somebody. Mm hmm The dark trying to stay attached to the light, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Wow. But it's also, too, yeah. Somebody, you know, connecting with others in, in a significant way because somebody might need help or assistance. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, there are people that, yeah, are about to, you know, assist somebody. We got Mars retrograde. So there is somebody that's impulsive. They're, they're, they have rage. They're full of anger. They are very hostile. Mm -hmm. Whoever this person is, they're violent. Yeah, they can cause fights. So it's something about, yeah, that fight. So somebody, yeah, somebody wants to fight somebody. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody or some people trying to push somebody's buttons, you know what I mean? Um, to cause, you know, somebody to, you know, be hostile or to want to fight, you know what I'm saying, to want to be violent. So I feel like, the, yeah, somebody just needs to, you know what I'm saying, pray, count to ten. Um, there's also, yeah, somebody that's mad because, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, could be, you know, creating strong bonds and connections, you know. Somebody definitely could be connecting with people already in a very significant way. Somebody could be mad about that as well, you know. Mm-hmm. Wow. For somebody, yeah, this could be like a scorned love. This could be an old fling of somebody's current or recent ex-partner that still feels deep pain of rejection and betrayal. So this could be somebody that somebody don't even know, you know what I mean? This could be somebody that, you know what I'm saying, is really mad at the, the person in the mirror, you know what I mean? But then they look over at, you know, whoever, you know, is resonating with this message. And yeah, that could be mad because, you know, of the life that somebody's living, you know? But this person definitely could be an earth sign or a uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. And it could be because they're in a jam or something like that. 
They could be in a jam, possibly, yeah, trying to put somebody in a jam, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if somebody, you know, was like isolating themselves from other people or whatever have you, I feel like that, yeah, um, that could be coming to an end because, yeah, somebody's about to create some type of strong bonds and connections with people. Somebody's about to connect with other people in a significant way. Somebody's about to go through some type of physical renewal. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There definitely, yeah, could be somebody or some people who could be wanting to ask for some type of forgiveness. But with this new ideas with the temptation, mm -mm. somebody just needs to, yeah, use caution. We got gold here. So, yeah, somebody or some people know that, yeah, somebody has a loyal heart. Somebody has a heart of gold. But this is also, too, yeah, like divine intervention is at play. So, yeah, the same people, you know what I'm saying, that somebody possibly, yeah, had a loyal heart for or a heart of gold. Like those people from the past that somebody, yeah, needs to be aware of. Yeah, they're banking on somebody's heart of gold. They're banking on somebody's loyalty. And I feel like that, yeah, um, the most high is like, yeah, no. But this is also, too, yeah, like somebody already checking themselves so they won't wreck themselves. So, yeah, somebody's heart is still a heart of gold. Somebody's heart is still loyal, you know what I mean? But, yeah, to the right people, the right places, the right things. So, yeah, somebody could be, you know, could have been hiding themselves from other people. Because, yeah, somebody already knew about the great, the greed and the, the temptation. The scandals, the stinginess, the squander, the spin, the spendthrift, you know? So, yeah, somebody basically, yeah, protected themselves, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, that's why somebody is uh, receiving some type of recognition and reward, you know? Mm-hmm. So, this is giving me two, you know, like, um, this could be like, you know, somebody knowing, you know what I'm saying, that their spiritual team is around, you know? But not relying on their spiritual team as much, you know what I'm saying? Basically, yeah, relying on the God in them, you know what I'm saying? Using the power that the Most High has given them, you know what I'm saying, to command, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, the, the the to command, you know, uh, things, you know what I'm saying, to go in the way that they're supposed to go, you know? Basically, yeah, the power of no, the power of choice, the power of yes, you know what I mean? Yeah, the power of prayer, the power of words, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, somebody, yeah, could be, you know, about to surprise themselves or is already surprising themselves, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, it's the God in you, but it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, there could be people that could be realizing that. Mm -hmm. There's also, yeah, somebody, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah, they were abusing power and authority. And, yeah, they're losing wealth. Mm-hmm. It's also, too, yeah, something about somebody's staff. So somebody's being recognized and rewarded for, you know what I'm saying, using their power and authority in the way that they're supposed to. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, somebody somebody could be gaining some type of wealth. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, definitely could be, you know, like, so if somebody, you know, is a one-man band... Yeah, somebody could be expanding, you know what I mean? Or, yeah, it could be something about, you know, like if somebody, you know, has a job, going back to somebody getting, you know, a physical promotion. Yeah, somebody now could be in charge of a whole staff. But this could be due to, you know, like the last boss, you know what I'm saying, overusing, you know what I'm saying, abusing their power and authority. So this, so, so for somebody, yeah, this could be, you know, like a job, you know. And so, yeah, there could be some, some stuff that comes out about a job as far as, like, them, you know, evading taxes or, you know, it's something about, yeah, um, some some illegal stuff going on. But it also could be, yeah, something about cruel intentions. But this, you know, for those that aren't resonating with the job side of it, yeah, this could just be, you know, like, um, people. Past people, you know what I'm saying? We saw a scorned love, you know, that somebody possibly don't know because that would be, you know, like an ex or, you know what I'm saying, uh, of a current or, you know what I'm saying, uh, a past person. Mm hmm. Yeah, somebody's in a jam. Somebody, yeah, spreads half truths without evidence. Somebody's phony. They spread propaganda and they persuade negative acts. They manipulate information to one side. They're deceptive. Mm hmm. So somebody's in a jam because of it. Somebody, yeah, definitely could have been manipulated, you know, by with money. But there's some but I feel like the yeah, somebody definitely could be, yeah, trying to, you know what I'm saying, figure out, you know, how to 
gain somebody's trust back or how do you know what I'm saying get somebody to you know I feel like it's get somebody to be on their team you know mm -mm. but it's kind of too like yeah I feel like that uh, who there there is somebody their true colors are showing and that's why they want to fight because they they're trying to blame somebody for why their true colors are showing that they're, they're they're trying to blame somebody for why they're in a the jam they're trying to blame somebody for why you know what I'm saying whatever is sticking to their reputation is sticking you know what I mean it's kind of like yeah they're also mad because yeah somebody's story hasn't changed so you know whoever this message is for they're mad because yeah one your story hasn't changed and two it's real you know what i'm saying whatever whatever your story is it's real you know this could be you know everything that you've gone through in your life you know and there is receipts you know somebody mad because yeah somebody has receipts you know for for you know what they say you know what i mean or you know what i'm saying they just have receipts period you know yeah we got the law Mm-hmm. but it came out in the reverse so somebody yeah is trying to is fighting to keep the law out of something or you know what I'm saying uh, somebody yeah could be trying to yeah get somebody you know what I'm saying to to do something impulsive you know to to yeah act hostile or get violent so that yeah somebody can't get the law involved so somebody needs to be aware. Mm hmm. But there, yeah, there definitely could be multiple people who could have been involved with some stuff. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, these could be, you know, people in higher places. And, yeah, that's going to be found out as well. got father at the bottom of the deck so somebody's father could be involved somebody's sister could be involved mm -hmm. and this definitely yeah has something to do with energy but that's this charger card so something about yeah somebody or some people yeah trying to stay attached to somebody's energy mm -hmm. siphoning off of somebody's energy and then yeah we have assets so mm-hmm so somebody definitely yeah could be losing their assets. Somebody or some people yeah could be looking at somebody you know like a jackpot as well. We got identity thieves. So uh, there could be some identity th thieves. So that could be you know who these people are. You know what I mean? They could be possibly yeah trying to get somebody to you know what I'm saying? Uh, get out of character, do something impulsive. You know. So that, yeah, they could get somebody locked up. It's kind of like um, there are somebody or some people that could have done some stuff, you know. And, yeah, somebody is not, somebody is, yeah, too busy being great, you know what I mean. These people, you know, they could be, you know, like um, sending messages, you know. They could be posting things, you know. They could be doing things trying to, yeah, get, yeah, trying to tip, tip somebody, you know what I'm saying, to do something, you know what I mean, to basically, yeah, one, I guess prove themselves right but two you know what I mean in their mind they're thinking well yeah if we can get them to fight us then we can press charges on them and then yeah they'll look like the suspect and we'll look like the victim so like the suspect is is trying to you know be looked at as the victim but I feel like that it's kind of too late you know what I'm saying because yeah somebody's true colors are already being shown so this is this or this person or these people yeah but I feel like it's people because it says identity thieves so, yeah, there could be multiple people. It could be three people. It could be more than that. You know what I mean? But there, yeah, it could be people that could have stole somebody's identity. And so, yeah, I feel like that, um... <coughs> that whoever these people are, they're trying to come up with new ideas. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. To possibly, you know, commit cruel intentions or something like that. But Or the fact of the matter is, they've already done. And, yeah, that's why they're in the jam. Mm -hmm. 
So I feel like, the, yeah, there definitely could be some people, you know what I'm saying, uh, that are going to assist somebody, you know what I'm saying, in uh, uh, justice being served. There's also, yeah, people that could have assisted, you know what I'm saying, these this person or these people committing identity theft. Yeah, it's kind of too like yeah. There be there could be some people that could be that could invite somebody somewhere, and somebody don't even know that these people yeah committed identity theft on them. Mhm. Mm or these people think that somebody don't know, but they know. This is also too yeah. Somebody receiving some documentation about yeah, um, basically from the law that says yeah we know you know what I'm saying that they committed identity theft. This literally could be if it's not the law because the law did come out in reverse. This could be you know like companies and businesses. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There definitely, yeah, could be identity thieves that, yeah, could be, you know, trying to ask for some type of forgiveness now. So these same people, you know, could come in and ask for forgiveness and then turn around and be like, yeah, well, you think you got any ideas, you know what I'm saying, to um, that we can make some money? Or, you, you know, it's, I don't like the energy, so I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to be cautious. Mm-hmm. You could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart or there's a Scorpio involved. Mm-hmm. There is an investigation. So I feel like that um mm-hmm. The fact of the matter is is going back to yeah, if these people haven't been caught yet, I feel like that yeah, they're trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh create new ideas, you know what I'm saying? So they're trying to create new strategies, new plans as far as how to come at somebody, you know what I mean? In order, yeah, for for yeah, people, you know what I'm saying, to to take the light off of them, you know what I'm saying, and put the light on, you know, whoever you know is resonating with this message or or that has already taken place and it didn't work. Mhm. Mm yeah, we got family members. So somebody's family members could be involved. Mhm. Mm Something, yeah, definitely could have been caught on security system. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, something, something, yeah, could have been caught on security system and it could have been, like, something sexual as well. Because this tape, it's something about, yeah, something caught on tape. Mm-hmm. Yep, so there could be somebody or some people that, yeah, they're possibly, yeah, going to come in begging and pleading, you know what I'm saying, to keep something out of the courts. So that's exactly why it came out in the reverse. So, yeah, there are people that are going to be, be begging and pleading. These could be family members for somebody. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep, we got a mother. So there's a mother involved. We saw a father. We saw a sister. We saw an older. Uh, uh, there goes an the older sister. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then, yeah, sexual energy. So it's something about, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, could be sending sexual energy somebody's way. Um, but there's also, yeah, something about, like, physical sexual activity. Mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, whatever this is, the the cruel intentions, I feel like, yeah, it was, you know what I'm saying, basically they thought it was ammo, you know what I'm saying, or they thought it was, you know, that one thing that, yeah, was going to basically, um, again, make them the victim, you know what I mean, and somebody else would be the suspect. Mm -hmm. We got an Aries Taurus Cusper, so you could be an Aries Taurus Cusper, or there's an Aries Taurus Cusper involved. Yep. So, yeah. Somebody or some people definitely, yeah, could be gaining the courage, you know what I'm saying, to basically, yeah, bring forth some type of truth, you know what I'm saying, be honest. Mm hmm. Wow, we got an Aquarius. So, you can be an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart. Or, yeah, one of these identity thieves could be an Aquarius. There could be an Aquarius that wants to try honesty now. Mm hmm. Uh, whoever this Scorpio is, they could be, you know what I mean, um, one of the identity thieves. These, the, Whoever these people are, they definitely could be, yeah, somebody's family members. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
whoever these people are, yeah, they're obsessed with some type of certain image. Mm -hmm. If there is an investigation that is taking place, which I really feel like it is, yeah, uh, basically, yeah, somebody could be being honest, you know, as to why, yeah, they committed, you know, the cruel intentions or why, you know what I'm saying, everything took place. This also could be too, yeah, like somebody, you know, finding out, you know, why their assets are frozen or something like that. Mm hmm. Yep. But whoever these people are, regardless of whoever, who it is, however many of them it is, yeah, they're suffering. Uh, somebody's family members could be suffering or something like that. Or, yeah, uh, these people could have left somebody in suffering, you know. But, yeah, somebody or some people should have listened. Mm-hmm. So it definitely goes back to, yeah, somebody, you know, looking at somebody, you know what I mean, um, that, yeah, it's too busy being great, you know? Chose, you know what I'm saying, a different type of lifestyle, you know? The one that's like, well, maybe, yeah, I should follow their lead. But I feel like it, it could be too late because, yeah, they're already jammed up. Yeah, they somebody took some type of bad deal or something like that. Or some people, you know what I mean? Took some type of bad deal. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah. These people, yeah, they done dug, you know, their own grave or something like that. Somebody, yeah, could work in um, in a cemetery or something about, yeah, a funeral home. Um, but, yeah. These people, yeah, could have dug their own grave because of something, yeah, that was caught on a security system. Mm -hmm. This is also, too, yeah, going back to spreading, you know, half-truths. You know what I'm saying? Without, you know, facts or without, you know, proof or evidence. Mm hmm Yep, we got a Capricorn. So there's a Capricorn involved. You could be a Capricorn and have Capricorn in your chart. There could be an Aquarius Capricorn Cusper. Mm-hmm. Wow. There's an obsessed... Uh, there's a Capricorn that's obsessed with a certain type of image. There was multiple people, you know what I'm saying, that are obsessed with, yeah, multiple with, um, uh, with, 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 a uh, certain image. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-mm. Yeah, somebody somebody definitely could have done some type of money spell on somebody. So if that's the case, then that would be why people are suffering, you know? So the money spell possibly, yeah, hit the person and, you know, those around that person that, you know what I'm saying, did the money spell. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have the life path number five, which is all about change. Mm -mm. Wow, yeah. So there could be somebody or some people that, yeah, could be mad as hell. Mm hmm. So it could be, yeah. So it could be, people could be mad as hell at, at, mad as hell at this Capricorn or mad as hell at this Aquarius. So it goes back to, yeah, people, you know what I'm saying, possibly assisting somebody, <clears throat> you know? Mm-hmm. But yeah, people, you know what I'm saying? Uh yeah, they were doing things out of greed and temptation. Um, but temptation is right here. There definitely yeah, could be somebody or some people that are mad as hell because they feel like that somebody could be hiding themselves, you know what I'm saying? But somebody's not hiding. Somebody is yeah, handling business, you know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah, is too busy being great. Mm-hmm. And then we have email. So there definitely, yeah, could be somebody, you know what I'm saying, that possibly, yeah, could send some type of email. This could be, this email could have something to do with, yeah, begging and pleading, you know. Somebody, yeah, definitely could email somebody, you know, and they could be being honest, you know, in the email. But there is somebody that, yeah, definitely could be trying to win somebody back. Um, somebody could be born in uh, 1987. Mm-hmm. There definitely, yeah, is um, some type of investigation going on because this discovery gives me, um, like, the discovery packet. 
you know, like, uh, yeah, there goes the documents. So, yeah, somebody could receive the discovery package, you know what I'm saying, which, you know, has all the details when it comes to, you know, like the investigation or the case in general. And, yeah, somebody could find out, you know what I mean, some stuff. They could find out, you know, the family members, you know, there were family members in their discovery package. They could find out, yeah, multiple people, you know, that they possibly, yeah, didn't think would be, you know, on paperwork. Mm-hmm. Yep. Everybody in this situation is about to take an L. Somebody's first mother last name definitely could start with an L. Mm-hmm. Yep. And there, yeah, there are people, you know what I'm saying, that are struggling. There are people that, yeah, are going through some type of hardship. But there's also people that, yeah, left somebody in in, 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 in in the struggle, in the hardship. So, yeah, there is somebody or some people that are scheming and plotting, you know. There's somebody that, yeah, scheming and plotting, trying to win somebody back. There's also people possibly, yeah, scheming and plotting, you know what I mean, on how, again, to make themselves look like the victim and somebody else, you know, um, the suspect. Mm -hmm. Wow, but there's also somebody, some people that are scared shitless. Because I feel like, the, yeah, they know that they were caught on security system, you know? We got January, so somebody could, uh, something could take place by January. Somebody could receive some type of recognition and reward by January, you know? Somebody, yeah, heavy Aquarius energy. So something definitely could happen in Aquarius season. Mm-hmm. But it's also too, yeah, somebody, somebody, um, somebody, somebody's not receiving some finances or something about, yeah, somebody's assets are, are frozen. So yeah, that could be why somebody is scared shitless or people are scared shitless. But there is somebody that, yeah, they don't want to fight. Mm-hmm. I'm also picking up too that, yeah, whatever, whatever, you know, these identity thieves did, you know, as far as, yeah, stealing identity, that could be another reason why they're scared shitless as well. Mm-hmm. So there's somebody or some people that, yeah, they don't want to fight. They're going to come in begging and pleading. Somebody's going to receive an email. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got boomerang at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying, took place, it came right back. So, yeah, if somebody projected a money spell, yeah, it came right back to the person or the people that projected it, you know. If, yeah, people spread, you know, have truth, you know what I mean? Without facts, without evidence, it's coming right back. Yeah, boomerang effect, you know what I mean? This is giving me too, like, yeah, what goes around comes around. Mm-hmm. There definitely, yeah, could be people that could be mad, you know what I'm saying? Because somebody's not in communication with these people. Yeah, somebody, somebody's just in this success mind frame. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody's just, it's too busy being great, you know? There is somebody or some people, yeah, that, that, that wants to fight somebody over, you know what I'm saying? Them too busy being great. But yeah, there is somebody that, yeah, was trying to ruin somebody's reputation. They thought that, yeah, they were going to get... They were going to get the victory, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to ruining somebody's reputation. But yeah, the L, that's what they got. Yep, there goes that Capricorn Aquarius Cusper at the bottom of the deck. Mm hmm. I'm also picking up two. That because somebody, yeah, changed their life, you know what I mean, or is in the process of changing their life, yeah, there could be people, you know what I'm saying, yeah, uh, that could be trying to, yeah, ruin somebody's reputation. Mm-hmm. There could be somebody, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah, could have told people, like, yeah, I'm about to go try to win, you know, um, them back, you know, I'm going to go, you know what I mean, because maybe, yeah. Going back to, yeah, somebody was being used a as an example, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, somebody, you know, that basically, yeah, has been leading by example. I feel like that, yeah, there is a there is a follower that is now that was following followers that now could be following the leader. 
And so, yeah, this could be, you know, like somebody's ex. This could be, you know, an ex-friend. You know, this could be, you know, somebody that somebody worked with or whatever. But, yeah, there definitely could be somebody that could be trying to win somebody back. Win a friendship back, you know. Trying to, you know, win somebody back as far as, you know. If somebody quit a job, they're possibly, yeah, trying to get somebody to come back to the job. You know, this could be, yeah, like an ex-lover. Um, and so, yeah, they could be trying to ruin this person. Somebody could be trying to ruin this person's reputation because they're trying to win somebody back. Somebody's first mother or last name can start with a W. Mm -hmm. Or a B. Somebody could be from Long Beach, California. Somebody could be born in 1967, 1987. There is somebody that misses somebody. Um, somebody else is scheming and plotting, you know what I mean? Uh, mm -mm. So, yeah, I feel like that uh, whoever this is is mad that somebody, you know, is, is, is um, in that being great energy and mad that somebody definitely could be trying to win somebody back. I feel like that, yeah, they're skimming and plotting, you know what I mean, on how to, you know what I'm saying, um, on how to, you know, like, get in the middle, you know? Mm-hmm. But I feel like that, yeah, whoever this is or whoever these people are, it literally could be family members as well, you know what I'm saying? It's something about, yeah, these people, because we have the gold right here, so it's something about, yeah, with this loyalty, 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 and gold, it's something about... Yeah, people, you know what I'm saying, like, um, showing somebody conditional love because of what they have, you know? And so, yeah, there could be people, you know what I'm saying, family members, exes, or whatever have you, you know, that uh, literally could be, um, you know, trying to keep somebody stuck, you know what I mean, with this, um, with this uh, tape here. They're trying to keep somebody stuck because, yeah... These people could be codependent on this person or they just, yeah, want whatever this gold is. Yeah, I want me gold. Yeah, leprechaun. Something about March. Mm-hmm. And we do have, yeah, this rejoicing celebration is a three card. And then, yeah, that um, recognition and reward is a number three card. Mm-hmm. I did pick up on, yeah, March. So, yeah, there is some type of change. Somebody definitely could be scared shitless about, yeah, somebody's change. Mm-hmm. Wow. The person that, yeah, that was their story and they're sticking to it. Mm-hmm. There possibly, yeah, has been some type of change in their story. Yeah. We have the cage, the bird sings. So somebody could be locked up and they could be singing or this could be, you know, somebody that, yeah, they just, yeah, they know that they jammed up. And so, yeah, the best thing for somebody to do is be honest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody or some people, yeah, they definitely were playing dirty for sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. They were lying. So yeah, they thought that yeah, uh their lies were going to bring them, you know what I'm saying, the the, the W, you know what I'm saying? And it only brought them the L. Yeah. Whoever this person is or these people are crooked. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody, you know what I'm saying, uh, being cautious of, you know, the past people that could be trying to enter into somebody's life, including whoever this person is, is trying to win somebody back. Yep. So, yeah, somebody definitely needs to be aware because we got scheming and plotting, strategizing, planning and plotting. So, yeah, there's a lot of scheming and scamming, you know what I'm saying? A lot of fraudulent things out here. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, yeah, somebody definitely is about to find out, you know what I'm saying, who all was involved in some stuff. This definitely could have something to do with, yeah, somebody finding out, you know, about some type of frozen assets and they're finding out why their assets are frozen. Mm hmm. Wow, this is also, too, yeah, like somebody, you know what I'm saying, like um, receiving some type of documents. You know, this could be, you know, like um, uh, like a discovery package, you know what I'm saying? Or this could be, you know, just like some information, you know? 
this could be, you know, like a case. So if somebody, you know what I'm saying, has some type of case, uh, you know, when it comes to like the identity thieves, yeah, somebody's going to find out about it. Mm -hmm. But there are people that, yeah, definitely could be trying to get somebody charged up. So this could, so going back to, yeah, the special delivery, yeah, people could be trying to purposely, you know, send somebody documents. This could be, you know, through some type of email, you know what I mean? So basically, yeah, like piss somebody off. Somebody's first one or last name could start with a D. We got BD, so something about, yeah, somebody's baby daddy could be involved. Mm-hmm. Somebody's first mother or last name could start with an S. Mm-hmm. We got neighbors. Somebody's neighbors could be involved. Mm-hmm. We got test time. So uh, there definitely, yeah, could be somebody or some people that want to test somebody to see if somebody has changed. You know what I'm saying? Or something about, yeah, trying to test somebody to see if, yeah, their their story, you know what I'm saying, is still the same. I feel like, yeah, somebody's story is going to continue to be unchangeable. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Yep. Somebody definitely, yeah, could could have gotten tied up in somebody else's drama. Uh, somebody or some people definitely, yeah, could be trying to tie somebody up in somebody else's drama. Mm-hmm. Yep. We got home foreclosure. So, yeah. Assets. So somebody's home could be getting foreclosed on. And it's also too something about, yeah, somebody trying to change their story now that their assets are frozen or now, you know what I'm saying, that they're, um, now, you know what I'm saying, that they're, they don't have, yeah, they don't have nowhere to go. Mm-hmm. We got an older brother, so there's an older brother involved. The older brother was, yeah, playing dirty. Somebody's first mother last name could start with a C. CBS. So something, yeah, something could be on the news. Something about, yeah. Mm -mm. Department of Community Based Services. So that definitely, yeah, has something to do with the government. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody somebody definitely could also have health issues well as well. Whoever this is that was playing dirty, they don't have anywhere to go. They have health issues. Mm -hmm. But we got energy is sacred, so we did pick up that energy and we do have this charger out here. So something about, yeah. Uh somebody or some people, you know what I'm saying? Um yeah, trying to stay attached to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing, you know, what energy can do. You know what I mean? Not knowing the power, you know what I'm saying, of God. The power of energy. The power of, yeah. Somebody definitely, yeah, could have uh, committed some type of identity uh, theft, you know what I'm saying, to get a vehicle. So, somebody, yeah, definitely could find out about that. It could be a charger for somebody. Or this could be, because charger is also giving me two, like, credit cards. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yeah, definitely could have committed a crime in somebody's vehicle when somebody doesn't know about it. Mm -mm. Yeah, you could be seeing the angel number 444. So, yeah, somebody just needs to know that they are, you know what I'm saying, protected for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep, but we got spell work. So, yeah. Somebody definitely could be strategizing, planning, and plotting, yeah, to, to do some type of spell work on somebody. But the fact of the matter is, yeah, energy is sacred. Or, yeah, people could, this could have already taken place. And so it goes back to, yeah, the suffering, the struggle, the hardship. So now, yeah, because, you know, people are struggling or whatever, yeah, somebody wants to be honest. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm -mm. Something definitely, yeah, could be on CBS News for somebody.
Somebody could be from uh, Dallas, Fort Worth. Somebody could be um, from Washington. Washington, D.C. Somebody could be from South Carolina. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah. Somebody definitely needs to know, yeah, that there are many more things for them to discover, so don't give up. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, because if you uh, turn this card upright... It's kind of like, yeah, this person is walking to the ledge. So it's something about, yeah, um, whatever, yeah, somebody or some people were doing, it was, yeah, to cop, it was trying to get somebody to come to them, or, you know what I'm saying? Or, it, yeah, it, it was to cause somebody, yeah, to, you know, go off the deep end or something like that. But that, yeah, literally could be, you know, what somebody, you know what I'm saying, is doing, you know, like, yeah, going off the deep end. Mm hmm. Wow. Yep, at the bottom of the deck, it says they will play victim once they know that they're losing. So, yeah, that's the energy that I was picking up, you know? People trying to make, the suspects trying to make themselves look like that they're victims. Yep, there are haters that are mad because, yeah, they see you winning. You know, these literally could be family members. These could be, you know, neighbors, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep, so divine intervention definitely is at play. Mm-hmm. Yep. Y'all see how that hand is right there? Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody holds the power. You know what I mean? The power is in somebody's hands. But it goes back to, yeah, the power of God, you know? Yep, there definitely is uh, some type of change, you know what I'm saying? Somebody definitely, yeah, has found their purpose, you know? But this could be, yeah, somebody being great, you know what I mean? Then turned, you know, a hobby into a lifestyle. Somebody definitely yeah, is connecting with their spirit guides, or they, yeah, need to continue to connect to their spirit guides, you know? Somebody needs to continue to inspire people, you know, be a positive influence. Mm hmm. Yep, but somebody definitely is being divinely guided, for sure. Mm -hmm. So it says, trust the wisdom of the universe and remain open to receive guidance as you journey through life's mysteries. Mm -hmm. So with that test time, yeah, I feel like um, somebody yeah, could have passed the test. But we have commitment. So, yeah, somebody definitely yeah, could have taken some type of oath. This could be, you know, to go against somebody, you know what I mean? Somebody could have signed an agreement to go against somebody, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, because of somebody's commitment, you know what I'm saying, uh, to, to their journey, because of somebody's commitment, you know, to, you know, the most high, somebody's commitment, you know, to themselves, you know, I feel like, the, yeah, somebody's about to, you know, receive some recognition and reward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, somebody yeah definitely could have taken some type of oath or somebody took some type of agreement or you know made some type of pledge to basically yeah go against somebody. But now somebody wants to say that they were being totally controlled. You know what I mean? This is also too yeah pushing other people's buttons. That's what it says on the card. So somebody yeah was basically being somebody's remote control or yeah somebody or some people thought that they were yeah going to control somebody. You know by pushing somebody's buttons. You know what I mean? Somebody's mindless, you know what I mean? They're they're narrow minded or something like that. Mm hmm Somebody or some people were trying to push somebody's buttons by spreading half truths without evidence, you know what I mean? Yeah, being fraud freak fraud freak and phony, you know what I mean? Spreading fake news, fake lies. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. But somebody, yeah. Somebody violated the spiritual law is what I'm picking up with this law in the reverse. And with this, yeah, um, spirit guide, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's not a spirit guide, but that's what it's giving me, you know? Like, yeah, somebody done lost, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, um, their, their spiritual team, you know what I'm saying? They've lost some type of spiritual uh, protection. Um, yeah, but it goes back to, yeah, losing spiritual protection or physical protection. But, yeah, the spirit team came out in the reverse. So, yeah, somebody's ancestors, uh, guardian angels, spirit guys do not got somebody's back. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, yeah. So, with that being said, somebody made some type of oath or some type of agreement, you know what I'm saying? Um, to basically, yeah, be co be totally controlled, you know what I'm saying, by the dark. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, somebody's spirit team was like, okay, say less. <laughs> That's all you had to say, you know what I'm saying? But now, yeah, because somebody sees, yeah, that it's too hard or, you know what I'm saying, they're not getting anywhere, they're stuck. Now they want, you know what I'm saying, uh... Now they want to get you know what I'm saying, come to the other side. Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody, yeah. Somebody basically, yeah, is following the path that uh is least traveled. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, there's some good advice that is coming somebody's way so that somebody can, you know what I'm saying, uh overcome some type of worries and challenges ahead. Mm-hmm. So yeah, some somebody some people are going through karma, and a part of their karma is yeah, mental suffering. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is yeah, whatever you know. Somebody some people ha got to go uh, is going through yeah, it's their cross to bear. You know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah, definitely could be suffering because of their physical sinful lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So the same person that, yeah, took some type of oath or some type of agreement, this could literally be, yeah, like to, you know what I'm saying, make a deal with the devil. Now they're possibly, yeah, trying to seek someone to, you know, perform some some type of uh, hex-breaking ritual or something like that. Mm-hmm. They could be going, yeah, to the church, to the synagogue, you know. Definitely was picking up on, you know, church, synagogue, you know, temple energy. But this is also, too, yeah, like uh, somebody or some people, you know what I'm saying, knowing, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah, somebody, you know, has the power within them. So, yeah, there could be somebody or some people who could be begging and pleading for somebody to help them to break some type of hex or some type of ritual that they possibly, yeah, were trying to project on, you know, the person that they now wanting to ask for some type of help. That's for somebody, not everybody. But, yeah, there's a copycat that's trying to be just like somebody doing everything that somebody does. Mm-hmm. But this is but but whoever this copycat is, yeah, they're, they're they they follow the path always travel. You know what I'm saying? They took some bad advice, you know. Yeah, they they made some type of oath or some type of agreement. Mm -mm. Somebody's mother, you know what I'm saying, could be their copycat. You know. Mm-hmm. But there is somebody there's some people that yeah, they definitely are hiding, you know what I'm saying, their 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 feelings with this moon. It's something about yeah, the full moon. Mm-hmm. Somebody's holding on to fears and secrets. Somebody's very irrational. So this could be like somebody's mama. But the fact of the matter is, yeah, those that allowed, you know what I'm saying, themselves to, to be controlled by the dark, you know. Be controlled by temptation. Be controlled by, you know what I'm saying, other humans. Yeah, you will witness their karma. Mm -mm. Yep. So whoever you know this message is resonating with, keep a protection pouch on you or with you. Because I feel like, the, yeah, there could be some people, you know what I'm saying, who could be, you know, trying some stuff as we speak simply because, you know, they're losing. And again, they want to look like, you know what I'm saying, um, they want to look like, you know, the victim and not the suspect. But somebody, yeah, definitely could be being told, you know what I'm saying, to, yeah, forgive, you know, let it be. Embrace the journey with openness, trusting in the universe to lead you toward the great, the, the greatest fulfillment. So, yeah, somebody's being led toward the greatest fulfillment. So it goes back to, yeah, that trust with that... Uh, 
uh, recognition and reward card. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody definitely, yeah, needs to stay open-minded. You know what I mean? Uh, and receptive to the magic unfolding in their life. That go There goes that um, accept surprise energy. So, yeah, special delivery. But, yeah, somebody has already tapped into their intuition. And so whoever this copycat is is trying to be like somebody and doing everything that somebody does. Somebody already knows who this person is. Mm -hmm. They're feeling lost and down in goals, wishing for overnight success. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have gaining the courage to communicate. So, yeah, there could be somebody or some people who could be, you know, gaining the courage to communicate. But there is somebody that's about to be recognized for something great. And so it goes back to, yeah, that recognition and reward. Mm -hmm. Wow, we got new home. For some, for somebody, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, could uh, receive some type of new home, or yeah, somebody just needs to be aware. Because remember, we saw home foreclosure. If somebody is, you know, what I'm saying, uh, getting, if somebody has gotten their home foreclosed on, um, yeah, somebody definitely is going to receive some good news. You know what I mean about it? You know. Mm -hmm. We got money making scheme, so. I feel like somebody needs to be aware. There goes that temptation. So, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, has nowhere to go. And so, yeah, I feel like that whoever this person is, because they don't have nowhere to go, they're going to try to bring some type of money-making scheme, you know, to somebody else. But the fact of the matter is, I feel like that, yeah, the somebody else that they're trying to bring the money-making scheme to, they don't need to scheme no money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, could be running back to somebody. So somebody definitely, yeah, needs to stand their ground. But it's they're running back for all the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. So, yep, if somebody was praying for some type of answers or whatever have you, yeah, you will get the answers that you see. Or this could be, yeah, somebody realizing, you know what I'm saying, that they were part of some type of money-making scheme, you know. This definitely got something to do with, yeah, identity thieves, you know. We got a scammer, so yeah. There's a scammer or some scammers that, yeah, they, they celebrated too soon. Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody, yeah, definitely could have walked away from a scammer. So, yeah, this is somebody that scams their way into relationships, scams their way into jobs, scams their way into friendships, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. There is an ending that's taking place. So, so whoever this scammer is, yeah, um, their scamming, their scamming days are have come to an end. Mm -hmm. But there's also somebody that yeah could be trying to scam somebody to believe, you know, that one they're changed, you know. Uh, somebody definitely, yeah, could be trying to scam somebody to believe, you know, that they're single, you know what I mean? Or they're, you know what I'm saying? Because this is giving me two, you know, like with this documents and paperwork and ending, somebody, yeah, could have been married. And yeah, they're trying to scam somebody to believe that they've gotten a divorce. This could be, yeah, like making up fake documents as well, you know? Or this is somebody that, yeah, somebody has already done that in the past. Because remember, we was picking up past uh, dates. And then, you know, we saw the card that says, yeah, basically be aware of any people from your past trying to re-enter into your life yeah so somebody yeah is gonna say that addictions made them do you know what i'm saying whatever it is that they have done addictions made them you know commit identity theft addictions made them um play dirty addictions made them you know basically yeah sell their soul addictions made them you know um tell half truths you know um you know, uh, make up, you know, lies. Addictions made them, you know, basically, yeah, be totally controlled, you know. Which, yeah, that literally is what addictions do. They control you, you know. So, yeah, with the temptations and the addictions. Mm-hmm. But I am picking up, too, that, yeah, there could be somebody, you know what I mean, who, yeah, they... they they basically, yeah, could be realizing, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah, they were this evil, dark person, you know. They could be changing, so... There is somebody that's changing out here, but there's also somebody, yeah, that wants to, you know, wants somebody or some people to think that they've changed, but they really haven't. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
because we have a master at playing victim. So yeah, there is somebody that's a master at playing victim. They only play victim when they're losing. So whoever this person is, they're losing. So yeah, somebody's about to be recognized for doing something great with this recognition and reward. And yeah, now somebody wants to play victim. But they are the suspect, you know? So somebody, yeah, definitely just needs to hold their peace. Somebody needs to stay silent. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because whoever it is, you know, that's, that's trying to manipulate, you know, people to think that they've changed or whatever. The person that, yeah, is trying to re-enter somebody's life, trying to run back to somebody that somebody, yeah, needs to basically, yeah, stand their ground to, you know. Um, this could be, yeah, somebody that just wants to use you. Mm-hmm. So somebody, yeah, needs to get ready, get ready, get ready. So it's something about, yeah, bringing forth new ideas, you know what I'm saying? Money-making schemes, everything that, yeah, somebody doesn't need to be involved with, everything, you know, that um, that somebody, yeah, but it, it could also be too, yeah, like somebody's money-making scheme, you know, their scamming days are over, you know what I'm saying? Their identity theft days are over, and now that, yeah, they want to come towards somebody just to use somebody. Mm -hmm. But whatever, yeah, whatever, you know, has taken place, boomerang effect you know whatever somebody thinks is going to take place it's going to yeah boomerang on somebody mm -hmm. but this is also too yeah somebody you know trying to use somebody in the past and yeah they're finding out that yeah they were being used you could be seeing the angel number 555 there is a big change that is coming mm -hmm. Yeah, the scammer, the scammer has been scammed. The user is being used. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yep. We got a criminal. So yeah, somebody's a master at playing victim, but they're the suspect. Mm-hmm. So yeah, with this criminal energy, it's giving me yeah, like. Um, something, something that has to do, we did see identity theft, so of course that's criminal, but when it comes to, you know, like, um, somebody, you know, um, like spreading half-truths without evidence, phony, spreading propaganda, persuading negative acts, manipulate, yeah, I feel like that that could lead to some type of, you know what I'm saying, criminal charges. Mm-hmm. But this is also, too, yeah, uh, divine intervention is at play. So if somebody, you know what I'm saying, uh, or people, again, was trying to make somebody look like the suspect, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, somebody's being stopped in their tracks. Mm-hmm. This is also, too, yeah, somebody being stopped in their tracks when it comes to trying to play victim, you know? This person is a criminal. This person has done some criminal things. This person could have done some criminal things, you know, uh, to, you know, whoever this message is for. So, yeah, continue to stay fearless, you know? Hold your peace, stay silent, but stay fearless. Mm hmm But also, yeah, too, protect your energy. But there definitely is. Yeah, there could be some type of ending or endings that could be taking place. So, yeah, somebody could be ending, you know, like some type of um, relationship. Or somebody, yeah, could be, you know, going through some type of suffering or whatever have you. I feel like, yeah, everybody has their own cross to bear. You know what I mean? Everybody has their own burdens, you know what I'm saying, to, to deal with. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, yeah, like somebody, you know, the whole plan was just to use somebody, you know what I mean? Yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, has learned some type of lessons or, you know what I'm saying, they, yeah, they're dealing with karma, you know what I'm saying? And karma is also, yeah, um, is there to teach lessons. Somebody wants to apologize now. Mm-hmm. There's also, yeah, somebody, whoever this copycat is, you know, that was trying to be like somebody, doing everything that somebody does, yeah, they could have been stealing, you know what I'm saying, stealing ideas, because on that uh, charger card, there's something about, yeah, ideas. Somebody wants to ask for forgiveness, you know what I'm saying, because, yeah, they possibly were stealing ideas to the point to where, yeah, they they stole somebody's identity, or, you know what I'm saying, yeah, it, it leads to some type of criminal charges or something like that. But, you know, apology is, is, is nothing but, you know what I'm saying, uh, manipulation without action. You know what I'm saying? 
Because the fact of the matter is, somebody wanting to come in and apologize, and then, you know, they want to, you know, give every reason as to, you know, why they did it. That, yeah, that's playing victim. Mm-hmm. Yep, we got Family Feud. So, <laughs> somebody could be on Family Feud, but that definitely, yeah, could be some type of Family Feud, you know what I mean? That, that definitely could take place simply because, you know, um, yeah, somebody or some people's true colors have been shown. Mm-hmm. Yep, so be aware because, yeah, somebody wants to come in and butter somebody up. This could be, you know, somebody that, yeah, they done, they done, um, they done, you know, committed some, some criminal acts against somebody, you know what I'm saying? Cruel intentions. Mm hmm. And so, yeah, somebody definitely needs to remember that loyalty is royalty. So, yeah, stay loyal to you. You know what I mean? Stay loyal, you know, to God's plan. Stay loyal to the process. Stay loyal to your spiritual team, you know? Whoever this person is, yeah, or people that are trying to get you to be loyal to them, you know what I'm saying? Going back to, yeah, somebody's loyal heart, somebody's heart of gold, you know? But, yeah, somebody or some people, yeah, they're gonna, they're, yeah, they should have listened, you know? They should have stopped when they had the chance, and so, yeah, now they're in too deep. So, it goes back to, yeah, the scam, the scamming and scheming, the fake fraud and phony, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, somebody or some people's true intentions definitely will be shown soon. And there is somebody that, yeah, they have poor health habits. Mm-hmm. Somebody's not financially responsible. Somebody, yeah, definitely could be at a distance from somebody as well. Mm-hmm. I'm also picking on too that yeah, there definitely could be somebody that yeah, going back to somebody using every excuse as to you know what I'm saying why you know what I mean um, they shouldn't be held accountable you know what I'm saying for their actions. There definitely yeah could be people you know what I'm saying at a distance from somebody you know what I'm saying that yeah could be you know like standing up for somebody you know somebody's name could be Summer or something about yeah somebody doing something in the summertime. Whoever these people are, yeah, they should have listened. Are they and they should have stopped when they had the chance because they're in too deep. And yeah, somebody's spiritual homies, yeah, are touching people, you know what I'm saying, long distance. You know what I'm saying? So maybe these people didn't take, you know, like uh you know, somebody's um ancestors, you know what I'm saying, spirit guides, guardian angels, seriously. Mm -mm. Wow. So somebody, yeah, somebody's spiritual homies could be causing some some endings, you know what I'm saying, to take place. You know what I mean? Or yeah, they could just be, yeah, it's the big finale. But yep, yeah, we got the power of awareness and choice. So yeah, I knew I was picking up on that power. So yeah, somebody or some people are, yeah, they're finding out what the power of awareness and choice does for you. Mm-hmm. So while somebody, yeah, chose the road less traveled, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, somebody turned nothing into something. Yeah, there's people that, yeah, they chose the road that's always traveled. And, yeah, they they either, yeah, they basically, yeah, cut corners, you know what I'm saying, to, to get money, you know? And they basically, yeah, could be losing everything. Yep. We got a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. So you could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces, or yeah. Have any of those in your chart? Uh, yeah. There's a Scorpio, pa Cancer, or a Pisces that has some type of poor health habits that definitely, yeah, could be, you know, realizing the power of awareness and choice. That is a master at playing victim. Mm-hmm. We also got a Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, there's a Capricorn involved. There's a Capricorn that's not fully financially responsible. There's a Capricorn that's always also, you know what I'm saying? Uh yeah, learning what the power of awareness and choice is. Mm-hmm. There's a Capricorn that possibly, yeah, is gonna try to play victim or they're already trying to play victim. Mm-hmm. But we do have an end of a contract, so there is some type of end of a contract that definitely, yeah, could be taking place. This could be, you know, whatever this is is, it could be going on at a distance for somebody.
We got a court official. So yeah, somebody um, somebody could receive yeah uh, some type of communication from a court official. Mm-hmm. There, yeah, there could be a court official that could be a part of some type of um, investigation. But yeah, somebody definitely yeah could be having health problems. Mm -hmm. Wow, so there is somebody that, yeah, they want to confess. So this could be, you know, a court official. This could be a can Scorpio Cancer Pisces. This could be a Capricorn. But we've already picked up on all those energies, you know. It could be multiple people that want to confess. I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to hold their peace and stay silent, you know. Somebody's name could be April or something about, yeah, what somebody has done in April. Mm-hmm. But there is some type of open case. So this open case could have something to do with long distance. You know what I mean? Or there could be somebody or some people that, yeah, try to move thinking that, you know what I'm saying, uh, they weren't going to have to, you know, deal with it. Mm -hmm. We got a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. So, yeah, Capricorn Taurus Virgo, heavy Capricorn, heavy Taurus, heavy, Vir heavy Virgo. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's a lot of people that, yeah, they have unresolved personal issues. So, yeah, it's it's what's within them. You know what I mean? So it goes back to, yeah, somebody, you know, looking at that person in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and dealing with that person in the mirror. So, uh, yeah, and, and the unresolved personal issues definitely have something to do with addictions, you know? Somebody or some people, you know what I'm saying, they're addicted to temptation. You know what I mean? Temptation, you know, could be anything, you know? I'm picking up, yeah, there's a masculine energy out here that they can't, you know, if, if a woman passes them, they can't help but to, yeah, stare at somebody at the woman's assets, you know, not, you know what I'm saying, respecting the woman at all, you know, just because, you know, a woman has butt and boobs don't mean you got to stare at it, you know. So, yeah, it's a lot going on amongst these people. But, yeah, there's somebody or some people that are reaping what they have sown, especially a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces, a Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. What else, Holy Spirit? Somebody, yeah, with this um, not financially responsible, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, could have spent up a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Yep. But there is somebody or some people that want to confess because, you know, ever since somebody walked away, it's been haunting somebody or some people ever since. But, but love and happiness is on its way to somebody, and so I feel like the, yeah, uh, somebody definitely, yeah, needs to get ready, get ready, get ready. Mm-hmm. And whatever somebody or some people have done, yeah, it's unrepairable, so it can't be fixed. So it goes back to, yeah, people, you know what I'm saying, from somebody's past trying to, you know, walk up in somebody's life, you know, thinking that if they ask for forgiveness, yeah, and you, and yes, yeah, these people possibly will be forgiven. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean that, yeah, um, somebody, you know, forgot. So I feel like the, yeah, people don't want somebody to remember the past, but how can you not? You know what I mean? If it was supposed to hurt somebody, you know what I'm saying? We got November, so something could take place by November. Love and happiness could be, you know what I'm saying? Uh, coming to somebody by November. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, somebody yeah, somebody definitely yeah needs to be very cautious about who comes and goes. You know what I mean? Very cautious. Somebody definitely yeah needs to have boundaries. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely yeah needs to trust in their intuition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody definitely yeah could uh, could um, meditate. Some meditation will help somebody. But somebody yeah definitely needs to trust their intuition. You know what I'm saying? Trust their third eye. Mm -hmm. We got a mother, so there's a mother involved, so there could be a mother that could be trying to make somebody miss out on a blessing. 
So I feel like whoever you know this message is resonating with, yeah. You just need to know that love and happiness is on its way to you and your mother, you know what I'm saying, your family members, period, could be trying to, you know what I'm saying, make you, you know, miss out on, you know what I'm saying, some type of blessing. Yep, and it definitely could be, you know, uh, by playing the petty game. So there was a lot of people that, yeah, they took part in some type of petty game. Somebody needs to be aware because come November, yeah, somebody could possibly be, yeah, be trying to play a petty game. Or by November, yeah, the petty game is coming to an end, you know. By November, yeah, there are a lot of people that are going to be apologizing to somebody. Yep, we got a court official. So, yeah, there was a court official that was playing some type of petty game. So, yeah, they're reaping what they have sown. You know what I mean? They could be, you know, uh, one of the people that want to confess. Mm -mm. Yep. Wow. So, there could be somebody that could be being exiled from their city, state, home, or family. Uh, there could be a court official that could be, you know, being exiled, you know. But the law card did come out in the reverse. So, yeah, there could be multiple. And I did say multiple people, you know what I'm saying, in high places. Yeah, could be going down. Mm-hmm. Wow. We got a friendship here. So, there could be a friend, you know what I mean, that could be involved. Or somebody, yeah, could be trying to, yeah, gain somebody's friendship back, you know. Uh, but, yeah, somebody was singled out. Somebody definitely needs to protect their energy. The petty game, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, the petty game is about to end, you know? And the fact of the matter is, it goes back to, yeah, somebody showing their true colors being shown because now they could be being singled out. Yeah, there definitely could be somebody that could be driving past somebody's home as well. Or somebody, yeah, this could be a court official for others of you, you know what I mean? This could be anybody in this situation. Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely, yeah, could have invaded somebody's privacy or something like that. Or somebody's privacy was invaded when it comes to, you know, like the identity theft. You know, it could have something to do, yeah, with whoever this copycat is. Mm -mm. Anything else? Wow, yeah. There definitely yeah, could be somebody that could be driving past somebody's home that's not over them. So that could be the one that wants to butter somebody up. Or yeah, somebody, whoever this person is, that could be having somebody to drive past somebody's home. This could be an Aquarius Pisces cusper. So we definitely did pick up on that information. Mm -hmm. Yep, we have December. So November, December time frame. So yeah. Um, by November or December, yeah, I feel like that, yeah, there could be a lot of people that could be, you know, um, apologizing to somebody. Mm-hmm. We got wise investment. So, yeah, somebody that already made some type of wise investment when they chose to, you know what I'm saying, travel the road, less travel. Mm-hmm. There's also, yeah, going back to that, uh, open window of opportunity, yeah, so by November, December time frame, yeah, I feel like somebody's going to receive some type of information about a wise investment. We got a father, so there's a father. So somebody's father is involved, somebody's mother is involved. Mm hmm. Somebody's baby mother, baby father. Wow, we got unexpected income. So somebody, yeah, definitely could be receiving some type of unexpected income. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's, this dirty laundry fell on top of trying to make you um, miss out on a blessing. So, yeah. So something about, yeah, some, somebody or some people, yeah, trying to use some type of dirty laundry or something like that. But it goes back to, you know, that card uh, telling half truth, you know what I'm saying, with no evidence, no facts. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, there definitely have been some charges that have been filed. So it goes back to, yeah, the investigation energy that I was uh, picking up. And so, yeah, somebody definitely is about to receive some type of spiritual upgrade.
Mm-hmm. There's also, yeah, somebody's about to receive some recognition and reward, you know what I mean? So it goes back to, yeah, somebody, you know, sharing, being, you know, enlightenment to others. Somebody, yeah, being a positive influence, you know, somebody, yeah, um, you know, leading by example. Somebody helping others without expecting anything in return. So, yeah, that could be why somebody, you know what I mean, could be um, receiving some type of unexpected income or some type of recognition and reward. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, yeah, because somebody, you know, helps others without expecting anything in return, you know. Yeah, service, you know what I'm saying, humanitarianism. So, yeah, somebody could be a heavy Aquarius. Yeah, love and happiness is on its way to somebody. Yep. But somebody definitely, yeah, needs to be aware because, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, could want to, you know, fight somebody. But that's literally the energy that we was picking up. Mm-hmm. Some, yeah, if there is some type of court, you know what I'm saying, court uh, hearing or a court date, you know, uh, yeah, somebody could try to fight, you know what I'm saying, a court official. Mm -hmm. Not only is somebody about to receive a spiritual upgrade, but they're also about to be uh, about to receive some type of physical upgrade. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, somebody is being asked to stay to themselves at this time, but it goes back to, yeah, somebody holding their peace and staying silent. Mm hmm. Wow. So, yeah. At the bottom of the deck. Somebody definitely, yeah. Could be gaining the courage to communicate. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's multiple people that were playing the petty game. Mm-hmm. But somebody definitely needs to be aware. Because, yeah. There could be somebody or some people that, yeah. They're going to try to play dumb. You know what I'm saying? Going back to, yeah. Master at playing victim. You know, so yeah, somebody needs to keep their boundaries up. There's also somebody that, yeah, doesn't need to be afraid to speak up for themselves. Mm hmm. Wow. So, yeah, whoever you know this message is for, yeah, I definitely do feel like that you're about to, you know, come across some information, you know. But I feel like that, um, yeah. By November, December time frame, there's a lot of people that are going to be, yeah, like wanting to, you know what I'm saying, apologize, begging and pleading, you know. They could also already be begging and pleading for mercy, you know. But whatever it is that was caught on security system or tape or whatever, yeah, that could literally be why some charges have been filed, you know. But it goes back to, yeah, scamming, scheming, plotting, strategizing, you know. So as I always say, y'all. Keep your head held high and your middle finger higher and everything's going to work out in your favor. With that being said, y'all, that's been your message. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.